When all the marinas in Costa Rica denied us entry, we figured, what the hell, let's just careen the boat. And not only did we beach it, but we beached it right next to the fanciest marina in the country. After several tries though, we came to the conclusion that this was not going to work. It was just too much to do on the bottom. That's how we ended up in Echo Sunset Boatyard, a marina that was currently under construction right in the industrial part of Costa Rica. So if you're planning on getting a boat and working on it yourself as well, this is going to be a part of your adventure too, if you want it or not. So watch this video and learn from our mistakes. This video, as always, is brought to you by our patrons. Thank you, patrons. But this time, we'd also like to thank the people who supported our shirt campaign. We started it back up. If you haven't had a chance to check them out, please do. A very special thanks to our patron, Rob Marchner, for paying for our haul out. That's huge, bro. Thank you so much. Please give us a short summary on what you planned on doing today. I was planning on just finishing sanding and then painting, but we found so many areas of the boat that are bad. I don't know, it's, some of it is repairs from last year, and some of it is new stuff, some of it is delamination. I think what happened was I just, you know, we had a, the boat was messed up last year when I hit the bottom, and I, I hired a guy for nothing and had him fix it all and it was a really good price but it wasn't really great work so i think i'm paying for it now i think i've got probably 20 different places on the boat where the the um, stuff is delaminating or it's just completely bad uh this is from a through hole that somebody had left in and then they just filled it with epoxy with with uh silica and called it a day but the problem was they left the damn through hole in there so it was hitting against the fiberglass and it delaminated the fiberglass. The fiberglass started leaking and then it got all of this wet and then it came down here and got all of this wet and started coming out here. So there was two breaks in the fiberglass and everything in between was wet. So I just kind of just took a sander and sanded everything away and then put layers, just keep putting layers of fiberglass on it bigger and bigger and bigger. So we need to hurry because we're going to get rained on soon. I just heard thunder. With this stuff, the, the thing is if it's in a cup like this, it starts to get hot especially in the sun. So don't have it in the sun, you gotta keep stirring it. And then you take it, you pour it on your epoxy, and then you just, this is pre-wetting the fiberglass because we're doing it upside down, we need to get it wet before we put it up or else it's just gonna keep falling down. Spectacular as always. James is filling the through hole right now, right? Yeah. The silica. I would take you down there, but um, you can't really see anything right now. But I've got mostly silica and a little bit of micro balloons. The micro balloons in this stuff makes it makes it kind of more liquidy, and the silica makes it super super hard. So if you mix them together in the right proportion, you get like a really really hard thing, but it it's still liquid. So it's like mercury. It kind of like fills in everything. If you just use silica, it ends up being like this paste peanut butter. Good morning, people. So yesterday was um, a long day. Today is going to be longer. The life on the yard with our happy captain. I'm not very happy. <laughs> I've got fiberglass in my balls. I forgot to put this on before I started. All right, so today we're gonna go through the boat and look at all the places like this. We're gonna sand them really good and we're gonna put some um, epoxy on them and then we're gonna paint them. So the boat's gonna be like 20 different colors now because we, we don't have cream, we just have white. I really don't care. Honestly, I don't care. I'm, I'm just doing this to um, keep it from intruding into the wood or the foam. I found so many places on the boat that from the repairs last year that failed. It's sad, really. So I'm gonna go in and do, do it right. So what happened was when he did the repairs, he, there was a bunch of bubbles and you can't leave bubbles in fiberglass because after a while, from the boat flexing and moving, the bubbles break the fiberglass and then the water gets into the bubbles. So then when you go sand it later, it breaks that bubble and then water comes out. So I, how many places did you circle yesterday? 15. 15 places. I got to do 15 repairs today. 
before I paint. And then we gotta wait for two hours for the, for the epoxy to dry. In retrospect, I should have paid somebody that was a professional. And I didn't have time to do it myself and do the, the dagger boards because I had broken both the dagger boards, so. Yeah, so let me show you what, what I'm talking about. You can barely see it, but it's, it, this layer of fiberglass was delaminating before he put the epoxy with micro balloons on. This is epoxy with micro balloons, the, the red. And then this is fiberglass, and then this is delaminating from this. Because when he put it on, he didn't like push all the air bubbles out. So I'm having to go back and, and take this down, and then we're, we're going to put little piece, bigger piece, bigger piece, bigger piece, probably four layers of fiberglass on the top. Wait for that to dry and then put some, some filler in there, wait for that to dry, sand it, and then we can f***ing paint it. It's a big job, it's, it's, a big, it's a big pain in the f***ing ass. I think this is the last day for fiberglass work though. I can finish all these repairs today and just glass it up. I'm gonna use a like gallon of epoxy, and then once it's all dry and all ready to go, dude's coming back and he's gonna help me uh, paint. We might be able to paint today, the, the first coat, we'll see. No, check this out. I don't know what to do about all these dots, man. They're not filled with water, which is weird. What I try are they? They're just, this paint's not designed to be in the salt water, so it's like delaminating from the boat. It's like, I don't know, being boiled or something? All this stuff, he needs to go through, and he needs to, he needs to sand these so they're even. And then we're gonna patch it with white, which sucks, but whatever. I don't care what it looks like. I just want to go. And then we're going to take clear and we're going to paint it from here down. All that clear Teflon paint. So hopefully they say that that stuff's so hard and it's so slippery that all you got to do is take a sponge and just wipe off all of the, all of the, any growth that's grow, grown on it. The growth here is like moss, kind of like long, mossy, really thick algae and it's nasty to get off. Like you have to scrape it really hard. And there's always crabs living in it. And it's, Ooh. oh, and there's always little weird things living in it. Oh, you always like get out and your hair's full of bugs. Ah. It's really nasty. I got an ear infection. So did um, Lucy. So did you. Everybody's gotten an ear infection because those little bugs get in your I ear. I think it was the And bug. they grow into your brain. Could be. And they take over your mind. Maybe. What I need you to do is finish your, your cleaning of this. Have you, you a, seen it? It looks even better today. Yeah, you, look, you did a really good job. This is her cleaning, and this is the scum line comes up to here on this boat. But I don't want to change the water line because, first of all, it looks stupid, and second, that's my reference for weight. So I need to have some kind of reference for my weight line. Mm. Otherwise, I'll. I'll overload the boat again. It was way overloaded before. Yeah, and also we just we just got some weight off, so maybe we're back to here again, right? Yeah, we're about we're about where we need to be with yeah. weight, but but the problem is it's not the it's not it's not the water line. It's that this boat is so light that it's yeah. always moving around and the wa and the waves come and they they just ripple through and they come up to here and it's pretty much always wet. So everybody's telling me to change the water line, but I don't think that's the right thing to do on a cat. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, you're raising the anti-fouling, so that should be enough, right? Yeah, I think I think that's that's what I'm kind of going for is just having the reference line still, but I'm I'm painting anti-fouling up here since it's clear. So today, this is what we're doing. I'm finishing this repair, which basically I'm done with it. I just needed I need to put two more layers of fiberglass, two more layers of fiberglass here, and uh, and then put a, a, a epoxy with micro balloons and ferret. And then I need to do all of the places that you circled yesterday. I need to shave them down and, and, a, and put fiberglass on those. Then once that's all done, I can do one layer of, of epoxy with micro balloons on all of the repairs, get them all nice and, and good. And as long as that's all done today, like dry tomorrow, ready for paint, I'll be happy. Everything's turning into one of these. Where there's a little delamination here. And it's wet, so I gotta take it out. So I gotta make it bigger and bigger and bigger until there's no wet anymore. See this one? This was just one of those little circles. Holy crap. Yeah. 
but I can fix it. I'm gonna steal some AC or take advantage of the AC in the office if they let me in, stinky as I am. Um, do the next episode or start with the next episode and continue boat work later after four because this is not a job for my hot type. Yeah, I have to get used to the to Costa Rican sun before I do stuff like that. After one month in Germany, this is really uh, hot. <laughs> Man, I keep finding these huge repairs, dude. I mean, I know that I didn't do much work on the last time, but it's really bad. It's really bad. Shit, dude, there's just so much to do. I'm not freaking out, but this is a lot of work. So today, we finished the fiberglass repair here. We started like 10 more, and we're gonna finish them up. We sanded the inside of the hull. You should go get what Airson did, and uh, that's a lot. We've, we've, we've got some really bad paint osmosis, and we had to dig out all the, all the little holes. It was like several hundred. It's a pain in the ass. What's important is that all the air bubbles are out. For layer three, it's about the size of my hand. You want it to be, to be a little bit bigger, so just cut a big square and then round off the corners like that. Okay, so it's way big, but we're going to end up shaving off all of this afterwards, after we smooth it out. The last day of the job and I got totally covered up finally. did go up in the back a little bit. That's all right, we're not gonna be able to tell. Nah. No. So we didn't document much, but that's where we are. Um, yeah, and now we're painting already. This is the second coat. On that, on that hall, we have two coats as well. I've been um, messing this up a little. But this, this paint is honestly is hard to work with. And uh, I think it looks okay. I'm finally done with prepping the boat. So, I think I had to do like four different masking jobs with epoxy and, uh, and some filler and then sand it. This is the last one. Filling in little tiny holes, you know, every little tiny holes. The bottom is pretty smooth now. I mean, it's not perfect, it's never gonna be perfect, but it's pretty damn smooth. That was a load of work. Wow. And I did four major repairs. Uh, took out a through, an old through hole. So I had a big hole in the boat. Uh, I'm really glad that I did this instead of careening because it really needed it, man. There was a couple reparations that were rotting the, the foam inside. So now we're gonna mask off the cream right here and we're gonna do white. So we're gonna put a piece of masking tape here on the water line and then we're going to do white underneath it. Why white? It's cheap and I need some kind of two-part polyurethane as a base underneath the clear biocide. Uh, the the biocide free stuff here is clear so I needed to put something on it and it's just about ready. The porthole is ready to rock and the starboard hole is going to be about an hour more drying for the epoxy to cure and then we're going to paint the white two coats of white and then we're gonna s s wait three hours so we're gonna go eat and then I've got a light and we're gonna use um, the clear after that hopefully it doesn't rain too much tonight if it rains we're gonna be screwed and have to do it tomorrow morning and then drop maybe six hours later so hopefully we'll be able to do it tonight this looks really nice I really like that all grip man that stuff is super cool this is gonna look a little funky when we get this tape off, but 
once you go, you know, 10 or 20 meters away from the boat, you can't really tell. I also got a repair right here that looks a little funny from the front, but uh, I'll get some red paint and touch that up. Right now it looks great. All right, so that's it. That's what I'm looking, looking at. We're looking at about uh, four more hours of work with the three hour break, so we're gonna have dinner. We thought every day that this is going to be the day we're gonna paint, but now it's actually happening. How many days have we been here in the yard already? Nine? Yep. It wasn't just a painting job, it was major repairs. That's why it was nine days. I thought it was gonna be like careening on the beach for three days but I'm glad we pulled out because there was some serious water intrusion in this boat. So tell me about your choice of color. White with a cream colored boat? Um, I wanted biocide free paint, right? So I didn't have to get that all over my skin. And what I got was this hard paint that's like Teflon, but it's clear. And I can't paint clear over this crap. It's a bunch of repairs and stuff. Uh, epoxy doesn't do well with UV damage. So it was either, so I needed polyurethane or bottom coat. I already spent $400 on bottom coat with the Teflon shit. I didn't want to buy another two gallons of Trinidad for, that's $600 a gallon here. So I'm using a two part polyurethane pr uh, primer and it was either gray or white. And I thought gray would look stupid so I chose white, and it probably was the wrong choice. The one time I'm not there. So that we have a couple hours of working time with this. This isn't like that all grip paint. This is gonna take a little while to, to cure. And then they, they told me that I have to wait three hours to, to put the clear coat on the, over this.